Here are some examples of subtracting polynomials. It's pretty much the same as adding polynomials. You just have to be a little more careful with the signs. Uh, we'll, we'll start off basic though. So how about 3x minus yeah, 2 minus x plus yeah, 7. Uh, just like in addition, there's no groups for this example at least. Um, so we can easily just match things up. So let's put the x terms together. And notice that we're going to take the sign of the x, so that minus right here, that's going to stay with the x, because technically that is a negative x. If we wanted to rewrite it, we could, so if, uh, the uh, original problem. 3x, instead of minus 2, we could say plus negative 2, plus negative x, and plus 7. So this negative right here is the same as plus a negative x. And let's move the minus 2 down here, and we'll keep the plus 7 here on the end. Okay, and we'll combine our x terms. So 3x minus x, that's going to leave us with 2x. And then uh, minus 2 plus 7, so it's the negative 2 and a positive 7, are going to make a positive 5. And that's as far as we can take that problem. Well, let's look at what happens when we have some grouping going on. So this time we're going to start off similarly, similar, similarly with, uh, let's say, 2x minus 4. I'll put that in a group. Or, um, let's add this one. And I'm going to subtract an entire other group, something like x plus 3. Okay. Now, if this were addition, it'd be pretty easy. We could just line everything up. We wouldn't have to worry about the parentheses. But notice that now we have a negative out in front of this entire group. So what we're doing is we're not only subtracting x or only subtracting 3. We're, we're subtracting the whole thing as an entire group. So I'm going to apply this negative to the x. And I'm also going to apply it to the 3. So to rewrite this out, it's going to look something like 2x plus 4. And then we know this is a positive x within the parentheses, but since we're applying the negative, it's going to become a negative x or a minus x. And this was a positive 3 on the right, but this negative and a positive mixed together, that's going to create a negative. So you could also think of that as a 1 on the outside, so a negative 1 times positive 3 if you're using the distributor property. Uh, so that's going to make a minus 3 in the end. And just like uh, basic addition problems, let's go ahead and combine the x terms and the non-x terms. So 2x minus x. And then we'll put the 4 and the 3 over here, leaving us with just x minus 1.